So this week's topic of Amuna Mondays was justified doesn't make it right. And before we begin, the class is dedicated to two names, Luli Nishmat for Roger, Asher, Ben Marcel, as well as Gabriel, Masauda, Bat, Sarah. They both are Nishamas of the ultimate, ultimate Aliyah. So the reason I chose this topic was because there's this concept that a lot of people operate on with, it's justified. Like if they can justify it, then they do it or they think it's okay or it steers a certain type of feelings if it's justified but the truth is just because it's justified does not make it right and that doesn't mean that that's what Hashem wants or that's what the person is supposed to do just because it makes sense to them like like oh I um show up somewhere and the teacher let's say isn't there on time so i'm completely justified to let's say just leave or from now on not show up on time because the teacher didn't show up it's completely justified but that doesn't make it right same thing with relationships same thing with any any connection you have even even with god you let's say somebody was dealt they feel like they were dealt a terrible hand in life based on that They're completely justified for steering away from God or, you know, resenting God or having negative emotions towards God. Justified, yes. Nobody would even question them. People-wise, rabbi-wise, friends, family, they all look at this person like, honestly, yeah, he acts like this or she acts like this because of what they went through. Justified. But at the end of the day, that does not make it right. That doesn't mean that that's the right decision. And how do we know that? It's because what's the concept of unconditional? Unconditional means even when it does not make sense. Even when it doesn't make sense. That's exactly when Amuna kicks in. When it doesn't make sense. You have no reason to continue going. You have no reason to trust this person. You have no reason to believe. But yet you do. That's the exact time when Amuna kicks in. If you could justify it, that's that's not a Muna. And again, just because you justify it, it doesn't make it the right decision. Like, and we we dove into it because somebody mentioned, um, you know, whether it was trauma from a childhood experience with rabbis or Judaism that this person decided that they're not religious anymore. Nothing, nothing to do with Judaism. They don't connect one bit. Completely, again, once you hear those the, the details, completely justified. But at the end of the day, does it make it right? Why are we, what, what we normally end up doing, and this is the truth, is we normally end up taking a scenario that happened to us and then automatically applying Hashem into that equation in the negative aspect. Like Hashem allowed it to happen because He allowed it to happen. Now I don't want anything to do with Him or his religion, or his Judaism, or this and that, anything. But the truth is, you we completely eliminate the concept of free will. The individual person that caused it, or, or was the quote-unquote messenger in the scenario, that's not Hashem. That's the individual person. They had a choice to do what they did. It can be in regards to... Stealing, like we mentioned, like if, if, if your best friend, God forbid, was to steal from you, let's say you were meant to lose, it was predetermined from Hashem that you were going to lose money that year, predetermined. So now you can't just be like, oh, you know, like, well, this person stole from me, but oh, it was meant to happen from Hashem. No, no, that's not, that isn't true. That isn't true because Hashem did not force that person to be the one that, to to take the money from you. you could have lost it in any other way it could have been a health injury it could have been an injury it could have been an accident it could have been you just lost it you left your wallet out and so it didn't have to be that individual person that went in stole your stuff and then on top of that who it was it could have been somebody close it could have been somebody complete stranger but no it was your best friend it's like no that's a choice and that's where you have to hold that person accountable don't refer to god in that equation as hashem this 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 all this stuff like venting about god when it's hashem's that was the individual person's flaw they did that 
talk it out with them, discuss it with them. That's the whole point of a whole court system is. You can't just go there and be like, oh, you know, um, this person committed um, a murder, but oh, the guy was meant to die, and I, I just did it. Like At the end of the day, like, no, no, no. You're held accountable for what you do. Just because it's quote-unquote predetermined by God does not mean it has to be you. Hashem never decided it was going to be you. That's your choice. That's your free will. That's, and again, because of that, that's why we, and that's why Hashem can hold us accountable for what we do. And as, as humans, we can also hold each other accountable in court, in, in, in life. It's like, no, that person did what they did. Now you have to own up to it. You have to go through that and figure out a way to repair that and ask for forgiveness and stuff like that. But you can't just blame God on everything. It's like we only, those people only love to blame God on things that, that they feel was on them, that that happened to them. But it's like you fail to give, give the proper attention to the one that actually did it. Does Hashem play a role? In, in an idea, yeah, 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 he did. But who played that, who did it, who actually carried it out, that's that's separate from God. That's separate from God. And to put all the blame on God is just, it's bizarre. It's bizarre and not real. Is it justified? Yeah, it's justified. You can claim it. But it doesn't make it right. And it doesn't make it right because we're not factoring in everything. Everything being, <laughs> everything being factored in means... Holding each other accountable. Did Hashem allow it to happen? Sure. But that's where free will comes in. Is it really free will if you're not allowed? No. No, you're allowed. You're completely capable of doing it. You're completely capable of doing anything you want in life. That doesn't make it right. <coughs> that's what this topic was this week. Uh, we obviously went into significantly more details. If anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out. But the two names that it was... Um, dedicated to was Lauli Nishmat for Roger Asher Ben Marcel, as well as Gabrielle Masauda Batsara. May both their Nishamas have the ultimate, ultimate Aliyah. See you next week.